Hi friends, in this video lecture, we will be talking about bacterial cell wall. And and gram theory. What is it? Most bacteria are covered with a cell wall around them and a few of them like the mycoplasmas they lack the cell walls and so they are pleomorphic in nature means they can change their shape so mycoplasmas lack cell wall and that's why they have a bizarre type of shape like this changeable but bacteria the bacterial uh, kingdom uh, it contains you can say bacterial domain rather uh, it, uh, can be divided broadly into two categories on the basis of uh, the cell wall and the nature of uh, staining property of those cell walls so they are either either they are gram positive or gram negative So where from these terms gram positive and gram negative came? It was a Christian gram. In 1884, who developed this technique of staining of bacteria. When he stained a smear of bacteria with a, with a stain called crystal violet, the gram stain, this is called crystal violet, is the gram stain. When he stained this with crystal violet, followed by adding a mordant of iodine, uh, when he washed those stains with, uh, with ethanol, and then again put another stain called safranine. He could see two types of bacteria. One, one type of bacteria, uh, they are red in color under the microscope. Another retained the crystal ball stain and they look purple. So, what is the reason behind that? At that time, there was. Uh, it was not known that the bacterial cell wall comprises of what material or how they look like because the electron microscopy, in fact, the, the prokaryotic nature of these cells uh, could be detected after the, after the discovery of the electron microscope, after the invention of the electron microscope, rather, in 1931 by Renal Ruska et al. So, what was the reason for some bacteria being purple and some being red color? Because some bacteria, they had those who had a very thick cell wall around them. A very, very thick cell wall around them. They could retain the crystal violet stain, which were complexed with the iodine. On alcohol washing. Even if when these, these cells were washed with alcohol, the CBI complex could not be expelled out because the peptidoglycan cell wall that, that was very, very thick that further shrinked, narrowing the spaces, whatever present, uh, and it further restricted the the exp expulsion of uh, the CVI complex. And so these bacteria returned the crystal ball stain and they, they did not take the separate state stain any further. But uh, the cells that were red in color, what happens to them and why this happens? Because they were, they had a different kind of cell wall altogether. This is plasma membrane. Outside that, the gram negative bacteria they have a very thin peptidoglycan layer and outside that 
in fact there is another layer called the outer membrane so this is outer membrane this is the paradoglycan layer this is plasma membrane here this is plasma membrane and this entire layer thick layer is the paradoglycan layer in gram positive and this is gram negative so in gram negative we see there are three layers in fact there are two layers the outer membrane the peri uh, the peptidoglycan layer and in between them there are there is a viscous liquid material with soluble proteins this these spaces these are called periplasmic spaces so on alcohol washing what happens the cbi complex that has formed inside is expelled out because on alcohol washing the outer membrane of gram negative bacteria gets dissolved at several places and the peptidoglycan layer that is very very thin in case of gram negative bacteria nearly 10 nanometer or so in comparison to the 40 to 80 nanometer thickness in gram positive bacteria they are merely 10 nanometer in thickness so this very very thin peptidoglycan layer cannot restrict the expulsion of CBI complex on ethanol or acetone washing so what happened next when 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 the, the cells are stained with safranine they retake the safranine stain and become red in color that's why some bacteria look red in col color under the microscope and the counterpart the gram positive bacteria look purple in color on this basis the entire bacterial kingdom were classified into gram positive and gram negative bacteria and, and in fact there are some that do not that, that, that are indifferent uh, in, in this training uh, technique and they are called gram neutral bacteria and possibly they belong to the archibacteria and some of the mycoplasmas because they don't have cell wall so they are gram neutral bacteria that's what about this uh, gram staining in this present lecture thank you for your attention